So Tetro, we are an AI company and we are working in the investment funds industry. So what's the problem? Whether you are an asset manager, whether you are a transfer agent, whether you are a regulator, you need data about funds. And for many processes, reconciliation, broker statement, key C, key B, onboarding, and so on. Compliance, let's not forget about it, it's very important. So you need very specific data points about the funds. And the problem is that getting this data is very difficult. Every asset manager has its own way of publishing the data. And the result is that we have a lot of manual labor, very complex, very repetitive, that is done every day. At the same time, right now, everybody in the financial industry is trying to save costs. So how can you do that? Well, it's very difficult because, as I said, funds data is unstructured. And if you look to the different uh, pictures I give you from Schroders, BNP, JP Morgan, everyone is uh, making a difference because it, this is also a question of marketing. It is your image and your identity. And so our job is very simple. We get this data, we structure it, we get it ready to be used. And so it goes very much this way. So we go directly to the website. The asset manager has to publish most of its data, we get it. So they do absolutely nothing. And the interesting property about that is that we can actually have full coverage of the market. And this is something very much different from the existing world. And every day we get this data, we process it, we give it to you ready to use. So it's scaling. Uh, right now we are covering 40,700 funds since it has grown. More than 100,000 new documents that we classify. We have 80 uh, extraction data points. It can be quite complex if you look into those things. So an annual, uh, in an annual report, uh, you have seven data points just for the annual meeting. One of the main pain points that the industry has with AI is very simple. I want to trust it. I want to be sure that this is precise. I have processes that I can trust. Can you make me trust it? And so for that, we have a very precise business definition. And every time an AI is doing something, it gives a confidence measure. And we have, if necessary, a team that is going to step in and is going to solve the problem of uh, the data when it's not done. And it's a totally different way of working. Right now, we're doing in our desk the jobs we have to do. But in this way, we ask very specific questions on the very specific data points. And that's the new way that the back office workers are doing that job. And the great thing about that is that every single of our customer is building a capital, a capital of data. Because when someone goes out, you lose a lot. But when everything is recorded in a database precisely, then you can train AIs and it keeps with you. To show you how powerful it is, last summer um, we had Amundi closing more than a thousand share classes and opening over the course of three weeks the same amount. We didn't, our customers, we didn't even notice it. It was already processed, already trained, and that's a very big thing. They announce it in their website. Hey, hello, everyone. That, it's a big deal. Um, and so the great thing is that we can bring is data consistency. We are going to check every single share class for every single data point. And it's interesting on two aspects. Internally, does your asset manager do everything all right? Are you contradicting yourself? Uh, Fidelity got fined $500 million because of that. And the data that you distribute on Morningstar Finance, uh, Fund Info, is it correct? Well, often it's not. Um, the great thing about the industry now, I think they are actually want to implement it. And I think it's uh, very interesting. And uh, we're changing the rules of the game. Instead of asking the asset managers to push structured data to us, we structure it for them. And that means less work for them, and so more data for us. Um, so as I said, the one important thing I want to stress with you is that we're growing so fast that now we cover 60% of the Luxembourgish funds, and we're going to cover all the European funds this year. Thank you very much.